I'll take my glasses off. Ah, had a crazy, crazy day. Beethoven had the best, the best first birthday. And he had three kitty cat friends come over and hang out with him. And he got so many presents and he had his cake. And um, I don't care that I sound like a crazy cat lady. My cat had a great birthday. All right, hello everybody. Um, I wasn't really sure like what to talk about with you today, but I realized that there is a subject that I think is not talked about as much as it used to be anymore and it's really important in this kind of eating disorder community because it's kind of a not so often talked about eating disorder and that is orthorexia. Sometimes called the accidental eating disorder, orthorexia is ironically when a person becomes so obsessed with a healthy lifestyle that they turn to unhealthy obsessions and ba dum ba dum boom get an eating disorder. Why did I do that? I don't know. Okay. So I have a blog post on label by label about this that I'm kind of kind of using for notes. So orthorexia is it's obsession under the guise of health. And um, even though a person may have begun with good intentions or harmless intentions, they come out with a harmful eating disorder. Ultimately, they're the reason this becomes an eating disorder, which I think is already obvious, but ultimately their food choices become destructively restrictive and their exercise routine becomes so extreme that their health actually suffers. So some interesting facts about orthorexia, it's actually not an eating disorder according to the DSM-5, but it is clearly an eating disorder, a very serious mental health problem. And it was a phrase created by Dr. Stephen Bratman in the late 90s. This doctor, Dr. S Dr. Steve, who I imagine is just a real swell guy. Dr. Steve was seeing so many patients who were so health obsessed to the point that they were hurting themselves. Initially, this orthorexic term was not really meant to be a diagnosis, but eventually it became one. So the thing that typifies orthorexia is the amount of like stress and obsession that comes along with living a healthy lifestyle. Obviously just living a healthy lifestyle is not a bad thing, but if you are prone to obsession and control, um, you may find yourself tipping the scales over to an eating disorder, and that's where things can get dangerous. But there's a balance when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle. It's totally okay to wanna to go to the gym. It's totally okay to wanna to be fit if you don't have an eating disorder. Obviously, if you have an eating disorder, it's not totally okay. Stop, you need to recover. But if you are coming from a normal circumstances and no history of eating disorder, it's totally okay to want to live a healthy lifestyle. But sometimes people can take it too far. And this is me trying to explain the difference between a normal person trying to achieve a healthy goal and an orthorexic. I wrote, while the line might be blurry, orthorexics suffer from compulsive behaviors, preoccupations with op optimal health, self-imposed anxiety, shame, and severe restrictions that escalate. Um, orthorexics also try a lot of those um, like detoxifying cleanses, which as I've discussed in a previous video, which I'll put somewhere up there, um, is bullshit. The danger of this orthorexia is that someone may not realize they have a problem and they stay disordered under the guise of a healthy lifestyle. Because of course it's totally acceptable to live a healthy lifestyle, but um, you know, when you take it too far, sometimes the line is blurry and it's hard to tell and people don't get help and they just drive themselves down sicker and sicker and then, hello, you get anorexia. It's not fun. If you think this is you, please talk to a mental health professional and ease up all those workouts. I'm reading what I wrote and holy shit, I love what I wrote here. I'm sorry, I hate to just read off my phone, but I gotta read it, I gotta read it. Fill your body with joy and self-love and take a step back from unrealistic health goals that stop you from truly living a life worth living. A life full of strong and happy friendships and relationships, a life with junk food and salads, wine and smoothies, ice cream and vegetables, happiness and joy, and no self-hate. Orthorexia is an eating disorder to recover from and recovery is worth it for you too. Damn, Rachel, you smart! Seriously, you guys read my blog? Cause I, uh, I do the blog thing too. Um, anyway, so that's orthorexia. 
I think it's really important because I think a lot of eating disorders start off as orthorexia, especially in this day and age. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Sorry, I was just reading off my blog for some of it, but you know, I um, I want to talk about orthorexia, but I've already written about it, so I can't just pretend that I don't already have words out there about the situation. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rachel. This is my channel, Label by Label. We talk about eating disorder, recovery, veganism, intuitive eating, body positivity, and self-love. And I'd love to have you with me, so please feel free to hit that subscribe button right down there and join our tribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I forgot to mention this in my last video, but I'm over 500 subscribers now, and I just cannot believe it. I've only been doing this for, for eight months, seven or eight months, and to already be over 500 subscribers is just like so amazing and I love each and every single one of you. I hope that I help you in a way or that, you know, you at least find me somewhat entertaining. <laughs> okay, bye!